Hello there, time for another video. So today uh, I'm going to start a playlist on the Upanid race and then later today I'm going to start preparing a video on Reese's negativity. I've still got a few partially prepared videos that I will get back to but first let's do this. So uh, the Alpine is typically associated with the region it's named for so in modern Italy, uh, Switzerland and southern France, which is an especially big centre uh, of the race. There are very many centres of the race. It's also southern Germany, which I'll get to uh, next, and then we'll go east uh, to the Slavic Alpines, and those are the, the Balkans and the southeastern Med, and we'll cover a few others. Uh, there's one from one from Britain, one from Armenia, one from uh, the Basque country as well, and then we'll hop over to Asia, uh, and we've got the, the Asian Alpinids to cover, but we've got some Jewish Alpinids, and then we've got something that Kuhn calls Alpinid, but what is actually called the Turinid type uh, there in Central Asia, which is uh, in, in Turkic peoples and their peripheries in, uh, in some of the, the northern reaches of the Iranian peoples. Right, so first, uh, here we've got one of the best examples of the alpinate type, a very widely used image. Uh, this guy's a Parisian, but his mother was uh, from the Pyrenees, so from that uh, French centre of, of Alpine. Uh, in, in northern France, uh, as we'll come to later, you see sub, sub nordid is the most prominent type, which is uh, transitional to Nordid, but it's also of uh, basically alpine metrics. Uh, so yeah, he's a very good example of the type. You can see his, his planocipital, so he's got a flat back of his skull. His uh, his face is small. Uh, his skull is uh, of moderate height and short, but uh, rather wide. And you can see he's got he's got uh, soft the soft features typical of the alpine race. Right, so moving on. This is another very typical uh, alpine, and he's a Latin speaking Swiss from the southeast of Switzerland. And yeah, he's from Tessin, and he says he's fully brunette, which you know you can see he's got darker hair than some some of the uh, alpines you'll see have fairly light shades of brown. And uh, yeah, he's he's said to be very typical of the northern Italian. One last thing to note about this specimen, and that's that although Kuhn uh, talks about him as an alpine and doesn't mention any other influences, you can see both in his forehead and in his occiput that there are indeed. Uh, other influences and again this is not unlike uh, other northern Italians uh, given that there are, is Celtic and also uh, Germanic heritage in the area. Uh, moving on we've got we go back to the south of France and here's a Frenchman from Limousine. His uh, father is from Dordogne and his mother is from uh, Limoges. And he, you can see, he's, he's uh, what has already been described when we did the Atlanto Med video as a very common type in uh, southern France is this combination of the Alpinid that dominates there and the Atlanto Med that dominates uh, to the south in Iberia that, that uh, was prominent in the region prior to the, the Alpine uh, expansion in the Neolithic and the proliferation of the type since. Uh, moving on, we've got a uh, way less typical example. Now, Alpine is a major element of admixture in the British Isles, but it's not very common as a type in of itself. Uh, this fellow is of mostly um, Alpine metrics, but he's one of the ones that's in section Kuhn terms uh, aberrant Alpines, and he's actually got Arminoid influence, and Arminoid is a major racial type of um, the Jews as well as, it's a stereotypical type of the Jews as well as being a prominent type in Armenians and Turks, especially from the east of Turkey. So, uh, the, Kuhn says that this may be associated with the cyst people. Again, uh, often we talk about tool cultures and burial methods. Uh, cyst was a burial method used by a Neolithic people who made uh, a few incursions, minor incursions into uh, the west of Europe and the British Isles. Uh, so he associates them with, with that, and it makes sense because it's a it's a Middle Eastern type or a Caucasian type, and so yeah, they came from uh, that region. So he's a survivor of that Neolithic culture, uh, phenotypically speaking. 